Henry Farmer has loved gardening since he was a young man and believes that all spaces should be beautified with flowers. One of the first challenges Farmer and his green-fingered friend Johannes Jacobs met when they wanted to start creating the garden was the lack of water, but the residents and their families came together to help him realize his dream. Henry uses his pension money to pay Johannes for the work he does maintaining the garden. In the year 2011, I was already a few years here. And here was only sand, and I was thinking, what can we do to improve our living and make the place nice for the people that come in? But I don't know how to do it. Then I met Johannes Jacobs. He's the one that's working in the gardens for all the people here. And I talked to him and I asked him, Johannes, what can we do? He said, yes, he's a good plan, but there's no water. I said, there's no problem. Then we go going to the people. From house to house, tell him our story, what we're going to do, or what we want to do. And uh, it happened. Farmer is pleased to have brought some life into the otherwise dreary environment and is also proud of the cooperation he has received from other residents at the old age home. Johannes believes that flowers are a symbol of love and that everyone should grow them. If you have flowers in your garden or flower pots, then people see that there is love in your yard and love in your life. But if you don't have flowers in your yard, something is not right. Farmer says that the beauty that flowers bring to a space should be enjoyed by everyone and that he doesn't sell any of the flowers but gives them to people and churches so that they can be enjoyed. The manner in which Mr. Farmer and Mr. Jacobs have managed to turn this dry, barren piece of land into a tropical garden paradise is truly admirable. It would be amazing to see what they could do with a little bit more sponsorship and assistance from the public. For the News on One, I'm Erica Gebhardt.